What's up, this is Coach Taylor Statham from I Love Basketball TV, and today I'm here to give you dribble moves to get by defenders. All this dirt on my skin, I just came here to win. So for our first move, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a cross jab, okay? This is also known as a bulldog, many names for it. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be attacking our man downhill. We use this move when we have a little bit of space or a lot of bit of space. We wanna use our momentum against the defense. So we're gonna attack downhill, running at a, at a very good pace, almost full speed. I, a lot of the times I'll do this full speed, a lot of the times I'll go 80%, but once I cross, I'm jabbing the opposite way, the way the ball just came from, okay? So if I cross right to left, I'm gonna jab to the right with my foot, my body is leaning that way, and my eyes, okay? This throws a lot of people off, because your whole body looks like it's going that way, okay? While the whole time, the ball is out here in your hand, okay, and now we're swiping down and pushing this next dribble by the defense, okay? When you guys use this, we have to change speeds very well, okay? So if you're going 80% or full speed, you gotta be able to get here and just explode through, okay, like a freight train. Like if anybody goes to cut you off, because you have to think, a defender is gonna do one of two things, okay? He's gonna stand still, or he's gonna kinda go with that jab and try to recover. Either way, if you're exploding right by him at an angle around him, not going that way, okay? Going towards the basket like we're supposed to, you're either A, gonna get there and he's gonna open up, which is gonna happen more often than not, or you're gonna explode. As he's leaning, he's gonna step, boom, it's a blocking call. So. The more aggressive we are, the more deceptive we are, the better this move is gonna be, okay? So I need you guys coming down full speed. One, two, boom, three, okay? So notice as I explode out with the left hand, okay? Boom, I'm stepping. I'm taking this huge, huge step, okay? Boom, getting by this defender and throwing that ball out so he has to open up, okay? So now if he's on the side of me, Boom, I'm getting to the rim, I'm keeping the ball protected, maybe I'm bumping him and finishing, okay? Maybe as he's running and trying to beat me, I get to a quick floater, I get to a quick pull up. There's just so many options out of this. This for me, as, a, as an unathletic player, has been like my bread and butter, okay? My, my whole career, you know, I've played guys who are a couple inches taller than me, much faster, jump way higher, right? I have no business going against. Okay, if you line us up side by side. But I've done this so many times that I'm aggressive and I'm able to just run through, run through that spot I'm trying to take and get to easy layups, attack the second line of defense, get to my floater, get to my pull up, and get to all these counters, okay? So enough talking, let's get straight to it right now. Into layups, here we go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get to floaters a couple times. Here we go. Same thing, we're gonna get to pull-ups. Here we go. Once we get those basic moves down, okay, those basic finishes, getting to a layup, getting to a float, getting to a pull-up, then we can start mixing it up. We can pretend like help is coming, maybe we tuck, we get to the other side, get the spin moves, get the fadeaways. A million things you could do out of this, okay? But first and foremost, we have to perfect this cross jab, okay? And keeping this ball out wide without carrying it, okay? So, a simple drill you could do before you get into this, just start slow like we're dribbling, cross jab, boom, cross jab, boom, cross jab, boom, okay? And really perfect that look off, perfect that step away, and keeping the ball low. I fell down the first few, mine was a little high, boom, so I wanna keep it low. Now a counter out of this, our second move, is gonna be Kyrie's go-to, okay? He calls it a drop cross, Man behind the camera, Anthony Gallo. Loves this move, shout out to him. Okay, you guys are gonna be coming downhill. Same thing, we're gonna cross jab, we go to step that way. And let's say it's a great defender, Kyrie every night. 
He's playing great, great defenders, some of the best in the world. So he's coming down, boom, that first move doesn't work. He's stepping like he's going left and he's snatching. Boom, getting all the way to the rim, getting to a floater, getting to a pull up. So for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop, boom, cross, and then we're just gonna get to a pull up, okay? All you guys at home, when we're doing this, you should be making at least five to 10 each way, starting with your right hand, starting with your left hand, getting to every different finish five or 10 times at least, okay? Here we go. So for you guys at home, me personally, I'm coming off a broken foot. I'm in the process right now of rehabbing. So I'm a step slow. So for me, this is a little slower. So you guys at home, maybe nursing an injury, okay? We don't always have to go full speed. Getting the movements and the motion down is more important than anything. Once you're healthy, you're able to do this, and you get the movements, you need to be going full, full speed. Much more explosive than I am right now, okay? And you see like, I'm sweating, I'm out here working with you. Now the third move that we're gonna use to get by defenders, okay, is this slow to fast spin. Oftentimes guys are easy to guard because they're dribbling the ball at the same rhythm. We talked about in a few different videos, okay. We wanna get here. So what we're gonna do, okay, we'll start here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be coming to the wing. We're gonna be feeling like the ball's coming from the corner, okay. I'm low, I'm ready to shoot. As I catch, I'm going left foot, right foot, inside foot, outside foot, okay, creating a good base. I notice my guy's overplaying. I'm ripping and cross-stepping, okay, with my outside foot, which is my right foot right now. I'm going two dribbles, two hard dribbles, like I'm trying to get around him. Usually by the second dribble, you should know if you're able to get to a layup, if you're able to get by this guy, or you need a counter move, okay? So on the second dribble, I'm pretending he's cutting me off. I'm going here, slowing down, and then boom, I'm exploding, keeping this ball wide, and then finishing. So right now with you, I'm gonna get a couple different finishes, show you guys a few different finishes, okay? But most importantly, we wanna get this footwork down where we're going inside foot, outside foot, squaring up to the rim, because this might be a shot. That's always our first option. But this guy's overplaying, we're getting right by him, okay? So here we go. Now guys, we wanna make sure we do that on both sides, okay, in different scenarios. So, I mean, we could come here, act like we're ripping baseline, do something completely different from a completely different spot. Rip baseline, okay, slow down, boom, and then explode, okay? I'm just kinda of dropping this basketball. Once I get to here, I'm being real aggressive, using my off arm, pushing that next dribble out. Lastly, the next move we're gonna use is a hip swivel, okay? This is, a, this is a great move when we're feeling pressure, when we have a good defender, a very handsy defender who likes to keep in contact. We gotta use that against him. We can't let anybody keep their hand on us. So for this fourth and final move, we're getting to this hip swivel. So it's gonna feel a little weird because it kinda goes against what's natural for us, protecting the basketball. Okay, we're gonna open up toward the defense. And notice I'm like pushing this ball out, keeping it in this hand, okay? Obviously this ball I can, I can palm right now, okay? But in the game, it's gonna be much quicker. Boom, and I'm getting by them, okay? So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come from the wing. I'm gonna make a double move, take a dribble, pretend like somebody's still with me, they're riding me, their hands are on me and I'm gonna open up my hips toward them. Toward them, keeping the ball out, and then most importantly, move my off arm to smack their hand off me. If I smack their hand, or I grab and pull slightly, that's the easiest way to get a really good defender off of you, okay? Now, if you grab and you make it obvious, refs are gonna call it. 
But if you're using your off arm, you could do that all day. Okay, I tell my players all the time, you should always be swimming when you're dribbling. Okay, when you swim, it's a motion like this. Okay, we're going out, we're coming in. We're coming down with our palm, with our hand being very strong, okay? Our hand shouldn't be flimsy, we're trying to smack like this, okay? We should be trying to grab and pull, okay? Or really like push down. Because if his hand is on me, and I pull or push his hand down, his momentum is gonna go slightly this way as it's propelling me this way, okay? So let's get straight to it. Now that's four great moves that you at home can use and perfect to get by any defender. No matter how aggressive, no matter how the refs are calling the game, if you guys do these moves aggressively, you're deceptive, you're willing to use that off arm and be aggressive and really take space and beat people to that by exploding, you're gonna put yourself in really good positions on the basketball court. Now, do me a favor, give this uh, video a like, subscribe to I Love Basketball TV, Hit me up on Instagram. You can find me, Taylor Statham, Statham Academy. Until then, guys, comment what you want to see below and keep working hard. All right, let's get it. Too much out there for us to go get, all right? No time to be at home chilling, playing video games. Let's make sure we're working on our game because if we're not, that guy we're going to play in the near future, he is, and he's going to be ready. All this dirt on my skin, I just came here to win.